Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 19, Club 4, Episode 8. I have returned a little early. I was playing some uh, other stuff uh, during the week, plus I had a lot going on this week. Um, so those of you that remember my son that uh, had a bout with cancer about two years ago, um, so he is... Um, part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, they they are a uh, charitable group that comes in uh, and they get charity donations from people, corporations, and basically any, any child that has a potentially terminal illness, uh, whether it turns out terminal or not, uh, in our case, thankfully not, um, they get a wish and uh so they came in and they uh they gave him a wish a couple years ago and uh it uh but once you're once you're in the group you're in the group for life uh you know you don't continue to get wishes but you know you get the one one wish but but you know they do other things so uh we live in houston texas and every year uh, one of the airports does a uh, an air show, and they alternate. So, like last year was the uh, Navy Blue Angels uh, flight team came in, and they were the main, they were the headliners for the air show. This year, it's the Thunderbirds, and they typically alternate. Um, and my dad was in the Air Force, and we actually were stationed uh, at Nellis Air Force Base, which is where the Thunderbirds are based out of. So I, I used to be able to see them practice all the time as a kid. And just the, the roar of the jets and being out on the flight line at a military base, it was, God, it was like being seven years old again yesterday. But uh, so yesterday was, uh, was uh, the air show is today and tomorrow. So I'm recording this on Saturday. But on Friday, yesterday, uh, was their practice day. They go out and they go through their maneuvers and, and they perform the air show, but it's just practice. But they invited uh, several groups. Uh, there were some school groups, some underprivileged youth groups, uh, and then the Make-A-Wish group uh, were all. So we each had our own section on the flight line. Uh, and then the kids got to, you know, after they, after they flew the practice, and the planes landed then the pilots came out and the kids got to the the make-a-wish kids got to interact with them and talk to them and take pictures get autographs now my son's 18 now so he wasn't into all that but he wanted to go to the show so we went to the air show and had a really good time and like i said for me it was like being seven years old again so so we were out all day yesterday so uh didn't get anything recorded yesterday uh, I've got some rendering going on on my other, on my second computer right now, uh, but I was looking at it and I was like, yeah, that's, I've only got Monday and Tuesday, so I'm going to go ahead and come back a little early. We're going to record this episode for Wednesday. We'll jump ahead to the where I plan to come back for Thursday, and then we'll get uh, somewhere down into October for Friday, I think. And then uh, maybe for Saturday, we'll get to the end of the season. So that's kind of my game plan. But taking a look at where we uh, where we left off, we uh, we beat AMG 1-0. Taquez scored on another penalty. Faguinho was sent off. Straight red card. <laughs> that's how we roll. Uh, we lost 3-2 to LEC. Leon Dorino uh, with a hat trick. Pepe and Jefferson scored for us. Um just no defense on that side of the ball, I guess. 1-1 uh, draw with P.O.N. Uh, Gomara's with the goal for us. Henrique scored an 83rd-minute equalizer. Uh, J.O.I. goalless uh, affair. Uh, you know, we've been really, we've been really sluggish. Um, not liking what I'm seeing. G.O.I. Dan Danilo, a new player, and Taquez with another penalty. His goals have dried up. Uh, he's scoring on penalties, but he has not scored. So he's he's down to a uh, one and two guy now. So uh, well, twenty two and thirty. I guess it's not horrible, but uh, not where we had hoped. Uh, now uh, let's take a look at finances. We have two million dollars in the bank, so we have really climbed up. We have put some profit in four million this season. A lot of that's due to our cup run. 
and I've decided to spend a little bit of that money. So uh, we, we are still at 2.4 million. Uh, committed will be 2.6. It is going to jump to 3.7 next year. So uh, yeah, but anyway, let's look at the transfers. Uh, so Takez, he is in the last six months of his deal. He is valued pretty highly. Um, and it won't let me make an offer on him because he's on loan. I think that's stupid. I don't know why I shouldn't be able to make an offer for end of contract. But anyway, I wanted him. We had the money. I've made an offer. It was accepted. 525000 He's on loan through the end of the season. And then he joins us permanently January 1st. So we have signed the young 22-year-old striker uh, long term. Now, Nakal, our reserve goalkeeper, very talented, 19 years old, really liking, but, you know, can only play one keeper, right? Well, we sent him to Genoa for $1 million. He's got a buy-on clause, a future buy clause uh, that should net us some money at that point. And we had another young striker. I had promised him some game time. We gave him a little bit. He's moved on for seven and a half, and we've got a 40%? buy clause future buy clause uh for the next sale of the next sale so uh yeah i did like him but he he just was not gonna break in i get i gave him one match um he's just not near enough i like the little logo there for uh zolte interesting zolte aragon and then um so we have brought in uh three players uh i brought in two the board brought, brought in one so Danilinho left side middle he's a 25 year old Brazilian uh, left footed three and a half star current four star potential he can play the wing he can play the central mid he's got really good first touch stellar crossing I was so excited to see this and if he plays on the left that allows Rooster to move over to the right uh, he's got pace, acceleration, jumping reach. Oh my God, six foot three. Um, heading's okay, but yeah, I really like him. Uh, he's already played three matches. He's playing right at a seven. He scored a goal, uh, so he is doing all right. I brought in uh, Ito. Uh, he cost us fifty thousand. Ito cost us twenty six thousand. Uh, two and a half star current, three and a half star potential. He is a right wing, right mid. Uh, he has gotten a start, played an eight rating with an assist and player of the match in his debut. That doesn't suck. Uh, very, again, very good physicals, pace, acceleration, work rate, determination are very good. Uh, crossing is okay. First touch is solid. Free kick taking is big. Uh, he can pass okay. So he's not quite as good, but as uh, Danilinho, but I like him, and uh, that gave us some depth on both sides. And then uh, Luciano Henrique comes over from BEC. He's a 20-year-old defensive mid and a central mid. Defensive mid, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in our old tactic with the Volante and anchor position, but uh, if we put him there, he's he, he doesn't really have a lot of pace, but he's at least average, and, uh, you know, very good tackling, average on everything else, decision making, determination. Um, you know, I think he can do the job. He is a prospect. He's only 20 years old, so hopefully he gets a little bit better. We'll see. Uh, and he has not made an appearance for us just yet. And then, of course, uh, Takez signed as well. So we've been a little busy. Uh, we have 169000 left in the budget. Uh, we're still well down, and now we are losing money this month. So you know, I am gonna have to watch that payroll. Uh, we are gonna we're we're gonna really have to go up. So if we look at the competition, we're currently sitting fourth in promotion stage, plus twenty goal differential. That has gotten a little tighter than I had hoped uh, with the with our goal scoring drying up. Now we are up to five draws. Uh, four losses. We're sitting 35 points with a game in hand on a couple of these clubs. So we're within striking distance of the top, but we really, really need a win. 
So if we go look at today's match, we are at home. We are favored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break in a new tactic. It's a new tactic for the club. It's our 4-4-2. Uh, the two Segunda Volantes, uh, when we are uh, favored, that's what I go with. Uh, if I am underdog, I go with one Volante and one um, anchor. So Taquez, Gomiara is up top. Ito, Danilino on the, on the uh, wings. And that puts Jefferson on the bench. Now, is are they on the bench because they are tired? So Augustin Rojas. So he's he's kind of lost his spot. And he doesn't really fit this tactic. He does not really fit this tactic. Now, this is an attacking position. I could play him there. But if we look at Taburi, yeah, he's not the he's not the best. Let's see, uh, Volante as an attack, first touch, yeah, finishing is kind of bad. Uh, Foguinho, if he can freaking not get kicked out of the game that would be nice he fits there really well not so much from a scoring perspective but that's all right and the reason i wanted to go here is i wanted to put two guys up top and see if that see if that helps us out any at all right so you know We've seen the goal scoring drop a little bit. We're drawing with teams that we should beat. So I wanted to try this. This seemed like an opportune time. We are heavily favored. So let's give it a shot. Worst case, we don't like it. And we'll come back and go back to our other tactic. Morale's still really good. Now, from this tactic, we do tend to pick up... Oh, hold that thought. Yeah, standard, no offsides trap. Thank you very much. Just wanted to make sure we weren't... Because I just put it in right before the match. So, wanted to make sure we were not... Two yellow cards in the early going. Get creative. Three long shots out of five. Are we, um, no, we do have work ball into the box. Popoka set piece. Oh my God. Who's that? Lorenko. He did. He, he tried to do a scissor kick to clear the ball and missed it, and it dropped right to their player, Z Ricardo. Watch, watch him right, right. Oh, he just that was horrible. Demand more. Three shots, two on target. Yeah, yeah. Um, aggressive. Um, hello. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, there's Ido, our new player. Into Gomara's. Taquez lays it off out to Felipe. And nothing happens. And Felipe gets killed. Foot injury. Ouch. One minute into the second half. He got kicked right there on that play. We just didn't see. The injury was so gruesome they couldn't show it. Uh, column 
Bari. Yep. Popoka. Headed out. Taquez. Oh, he lumped it. Oh, what a touch by Gomares. He holds it up, slides it inside. Oh, Taburi, how did you not score that? How did that not go in? Oh, Ito. Oh, he just dropped that right on the short side of the keeper. Little knuckleball. Brilliant. Um, I really think I want to pull one of these guys. Now, he can play center. He's not that good. Augusto. 15-12. And Takavito. Let's go with Tata Vito. I'm going to put him in for... Um, I really just want to get a yellow card off of the field there. Nice goal. Alright. I mean, we're really dominating this game here, fellas. And they're going to FM it. Nilo with the save. Oh, Tiburi lumps it. I don't know what that was all about. All right, Danilio, Taquez. Over to Figuinho. Gamarez. Through ball. Ito! A brace! He has scored now in both games he's appeared in. He is looking to be the real deal. Wow. All right. Um, Faguinho, you're at 70. Denivio, mid left. Pratel. Put Pertel in for Fagino. Wait a minute. Hello. What happened? Oh, there's Pertel. Why did it go out of order? I have no idea. All right, well. All right, Gomarez into Ito. Tabury shot. All right. Let's give him a little spot of praise. Fired up. Five minutes of stoppage time. Punched away. And we will take the 2-1 victory. We needed that. Uh, you've done brilliantly to come back and win that. Yes. All right, we play SBE next. Let's see. Uh, Felipe. Oh, the twisted ankle. Oh, they did kill him. Four to five weeks. Ito. Thank you very much. All right. So that puts us up into second position. 38 points. Big goal differential. Plus 10 over ALA. And, uh, yeah, so we just need to keep winning. <laughs> we just need to keep winning. All right, we will be back uh, for the next match with SBE in just a second. Oh, jump it, jump it. Yes! Who scored that? Was it Bamford? No, it was Calvin Phillips. Get in there, son. Yes! Big goal. I'm watching a uh, stream of the Leeds game. Uh, we're at the uh, 65th minute against Birmingham. 
Uh, Jack Harrison just poached a ball off of somebody. A nice little flick. Phillips beat the keeper to the far post. 1-0. This is a big game for Leeds. This is the, uh, today is the 100th, or yesterday was the 100th anniversary of the club. Uh, but, so today is the 100th anniversary match. So, whew. Big win. Big win. If we can get the three points here, we need it badly. All right, so I've got that match going on down here. Let's see what's happening. All right, we are the underdog. We're the favorites on the road. They've never beaten us. Actually looks pretty close, though, doesn't it? I kind of. So, yeah, suspended, 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 and two injuries. Uh, to Bury, nine days with a virus. Four weeks for Felipe, and then yellow card suspension. So that's going to be interesting. All right, so Gomara's back. Rooster's going to be in. Jefferson's in. Columbari, Tadavito. Moraha's back from his rest. <laughs> Lacking in match sharpness, of course they are. Of course they are. Encourage the team and kick off. All right, we're in blue and white kits. Black shorts, blue shirts, white stripes. Yeah, all right. Moraha. Crossed in. Jefferson, number eight on the season. Early goal, second minute. We are off to a hot start today. Looks like they brought uh, Eddie and Kedia in a little early today. Uh-oh, Berardi got up hobbling there after a challenge. All right, Moraha. Uh, would have been nice to have our, our good free kick taker on, on there, but he's resting today. Columbari, Jefferson, Tata Vito. There we go. Oh, there's Rojas making an appearance. Good. Gomarez. Oh, he looks over the top. Oh, Taquez did not turn and make the run fast enough. He was eyeing him, though. All right, nice ball up to Jefferson. Into Rojas. Gomarez. He shoots from range. He says, I know how to play striker. I can do that. Jefferson picks up a yellow. All right, Columbari. Oh, nice movement. Moraha making a run. Lays it off to Rooster. Rojas. He shoots goal. Augustin Rojas. Number eight for him. Rooster with the assist. Oh, he does the Spanish archer. 2-0. Don't stomp him. <laughs> he looked like he was stalking him. Uh oh, over the top. Veronez. Uh, blocked by Nilo. Nice job. Nilo might be settling down a little bit now that we've gotten rid of uh, the other keeper. Now he's not feeling as challenged. Oh, we've got a corner. I'm, I'm watching the Leeds game down here. Nope. We suck at set pieces. I swear to God, I don't think I've ever seen Calvin Phillips clear the near post. <laughs> I think I would line all 11 people, including the keeper, up at the near post. And, you know, you don't have to worry about him kicking it over your head. And he's a brilliant player. 
Uh, yeah, you can't do that. Very happy and Gilmarez. Play it calm. Jefferson, play it calm. Anybody? No, we're actually playing pretty well. Oh, that was a big shot by Birmingham. Uh, nice tackle by Moraha. Uh, no bendage on that ball. Get creative. They're up. They've caught up with us on shots. They're handling possession. Regis is injured. That's their club. All right. Oh man. What's the why? Why does it do that? I don't know why it does that. All right, Jefferson. Let's put Pepe in for Jefferson, and then I want to swap those guys. And then... Uh, if I bring him up for Gomara's, then I can bring in... Raul Lozano for him. Yeah, that's a lot of yellow cards. Jesus. Oh, big shout out to, uh, oh, Moraha cuts it inside and drills it home. His second goal. Lozano just coming on with the assist. Uh, so Moscow White is uh, Daniel Chapman. Uh, if you guys... Uh, if you don't follow leads, probably not a not anything you would know. But he uh, he does a podcast uh, with some guy with some other fans called the Square Ball Podcast. If you do like leads or just like football, uh, it's a group of fans doing a podcast. It's really good. Uh, so check that out. And uh, he wrote a book. Um, he does some work with uh, YEP and uh, also. I think he held off of the ball because he was off sides. He just kind of stood there. Oh, he almost curved that over the keeper's head. Holy smokes. Um, yep. Yep. Maraha. I think we need to pull you off. There's Ito. He, he, we'll give him the rest. Um... Columbari? Maraha. Yeah, I think we need to go with uh, the right hand side. So we'll bring Tita in. There we go. But he wrote a book on the, uh, the 100 years of leads. So I just got it in the mail yesterday. So looking forward to reading that. Uh, I'll actually pull that out and read it while I'm watching some, uh, some college football today. Oh, taken down. Good clear off the line. Oh my God, they've got runners everywhere. Yeah, yeah, just not. Uh, oh, what a save. What a full extension. Let's get the clean sheet, boys. Get a clean sheet. No, no, that's not how we do. He's like, I didn't do anything. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh my god that was, that, that was shit alright just blow the whistle there we go 3-1 another win we will take it so I am going to mix in that 4-4-2. Uh, you played well, don't get complacent. And you may not like that. Um, do we have... Uh, hold on. Hold that thought. And and the stream froze. Oh, boo. Who is that? Alioski. 
No. Elioski had a had an opportunity and he popped it about twenty yards over the goal and he was inside the six yard box. <laughs> We go top of the second division, boys. Moraha, uh, six headers. I'm going to say your defensive work was great. Unbeaten record, five in a row. We were up to ten. Let's finish the day out here, and that way we can get a good shot. There we are. All right, so three wins in a row, pair of wins today. 7-2 to two on aggregate. And yes, we are top of the table. Now, we do have uh, one game, so they have a game in hand. They can jump over us. They can only catch us. So at worst, we're sitting second in the table. But I mean, even fifth, if they get a win, they'll be two points behind us. So it's still a log jam up here at the top long way to go um so i don't know if we're going to come back right here or not i'm just going to start playing and when i feel the need for a game for a match or another episode we'll do another episode so this one should go up wednesday and usually i try to record especially for this series since I'm doing these daily, I try to do like the entire week on the weekend. So this will go up Wednesday. I'll try to, I want to do Thursdays and Fridays. And then sometime this week towards the end of the week, then I'll do Saturdays. That way I don't have to worry about that next Saturday. And then we'll start on the following week on that Saturday. So that's kind of how I operate it. But we should get to the end of this season pretty soon um i'm guessing by the end of the week so anyway hit that like button subscribe let me know what you think of the new signings uh i'm pretty excited by a bunch of those uh the new guys uh danilo and ito have been playing well and uh, of course then we brought on our big uh striker who hasn't scored in a while <laughs> he's playing well just uh, not finding the net unless he unless he gets the penalty. So um, anyway, good luck to Nakao moving on to Genoa. And uh, we'll see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.